Hello guys, this is Jofis. You are welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can run or uh, develop Android applications using Flutter. Okay, and uh, we are going to use online IDE for development. The reason why I'm doing this video is that there are some people the their machines they use do not meet the requirement. Okay, the minimum hardware specifications okay to run flutter applications on their devices so you can see here that to run to run flutter you will need a computer with the following minimum hardware specifications for the processor you need an Intel Core i5 or higher processor a RAM of 8 gig or more and your graphics card should be dedicated graphics card okay this is option about recommended for smooth development experience Okay, so your display too should be high should have high resolution display this is recommended for your smooth development experience all right so um let's jump into the video if you are new here please make sure you subscribe to the channel okay all right thank you so you go to google and you search for project project idx okay all right so you can see here that Project IDS is an entirely web-based workspace for full-stack application development and it's complete with the latest generative AI from Gemini and yeah, sure. So um, it's based on the Visual Studio code, okay, and the infrastructure runs on Google, Google Clouds. All right, so let's go to the website, click on this one, okay, so this is what you see, you click on Get Started. You wait for the interface or the page to load okay okay so you have to accept the google terms of service okay so let me check this one click on continue and also here you can uh, enable ai feature all right so let me enable it i may need it later so click on continue okay so let's wait for our interface okay so here you have um other templates you can work with you have the go programming language here you have python flat you have the node express okay gemini api and other stuff so we are going to use we are going to select flutter click on flutter okay so it is asking you to create your new workspace okay we have flutter here though so you create a new project so name of your workspace so the name will be my app okay I'll click on create click on create so the work my workspace is being set is being set up for me okay so the first one is setting up workspace and initializing an environment building an environment and also the finalizing finalizing it for me yeah okay so you could see our workspace is being created and if you use visual studio code you can realize that or you could see that it is exactly the same as visual studio code okay so let's get let's get rid of this one let me bring this one down so see you wait for all the necessary plugins to be up um, to be installed okay okay so our workspace is almost done okay so we have android and we have web here okay so we want to use the android so just click on the android you can get rid of this one but don't worry we are just using the android emulator okay so you see a bunch of files here and here's your main so let's wait for our app to launch okay so you can see that our app is launched so let me click on this one you see that it's working it's working it's working okay so uh, we can decide to let's say change something here okay let me see you have pushed the button let me write many times <laughs> okay so let me see automatically it's been refreshed and updated yes so guys this is uh, a simple way you can 
develop your Android application online, and then download the files on your physical device. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Okay, alright. Goodbye.